Hi, I'm Rod Sowden, lead author of MSP. I'd like to talk to you quickly about visions. This is one of the kind of areas of uh, programs that are often muddled, mixed up and make no sense. And part of the reason is people write the vision statement too early in the program. So some things to think about when we're talking about visions. In the early days they evolve. If you look at MSP, it's saying you should be writing, it's like the third or fourth step. But it very wisely says, in defining a program, validate your vision. Because people are going to be moving around your program. They'll be on board, they'll be off board, so it's going to take a bit of time. So, a few hints around visions. Number one, it shouldn't be a to-do list. right? It has to inspire people. It's going to direct the program. And one of the use, most useful things, it's supposed to be the beacon. So when you stand back, you go, actually, is that what we're trying to do? Yeah, there's a whole big checklist of stuff you should consider. But in reality, you can't cover everything. But what you don't want is a whole, is a to-do list. All right? Next thing we don't want is a lecture. All right? So you see these vision statements that run on for pages, all right? telling us chapter and verse what the world's going to be like. We don't want that because people are going to get bored. right? Because one of the things you should be able to do, your team and the people around you should be able to go, that's what the program's about. Yeah, It's about doing something better. So uh, we don't want it to be a lecture. Because the people that write the vision is normally the SRO and the program board, they talk a different language to the rest of the world. right? And uh, so they use lots of big words because um, uh, they're actually writing a vision to impress each other. But what you've actually got to think about is the man in the street who's going to be receiving this or the staff further down who are going to be on the receiving end. So what we don't want is waffle. Yeah. About a wafty world in the future. Yeah. The worst one I ever saw was at the BBC. They described their programme. They said, Imagine you're getting on a jumbo jet to a better place. What a load of nonsense, right? You're going to have to say, if this program's bringing a bad message, the sooner you get that bad message out and people realise it's going to hurt, the better. Because if you start hiding it, it won't work. You're going to fail. So, we don't want management waffle either. Okay? So what do we want to have in our vision? We want to keep it tight, yeah? It doesn't have to be a sentence, a paragraph, maybe two paragraphs. Maybe with, with some sort of theme to it that people can get onto. All right, so short and sweet. And tells the truth. Now, one of the problems that we need to think about here is the role of the blueprint, all right? Which is uh, gonna be a different uh, one of these little presentations. When you actually sit down and do the blueprint, which looks at process, people, technology, uh, assets, management information. When you actually sit down and say, well, what's the world like now? What's it going to be like in the end? That gives you the information that you need to write the vision statement. Because if you write the vision statement when you don't really know where you're going, you write a whole load of things that are not real or not relevant. All right. So the other thing is base it on the blueprint. Because if you do that, it will sustain through the life of the program. Because the, program, the, the whole point of the blueprint is it's driving you to think about where the program's going to end up, not where it's starting, and not what you wish the world to be like in the, in the future. Okay, so hopefully uh, there's lots of good stuff around uh, about good vision statements. Uh, but one of the problems that we've seen in failed programs is the vision statement is pretty poor. Right? And actually nobody bought into it. And therefore, you actually created resistance, or it was written in a, that, a way that turned everybody off. So just try to keep it simple, keep it sweet, and think about the end game that you're describing. Because it's not a vision. It's not a mission. We're not really world class, right? It's about what we're going to deliver at the end. When this program is over, this is what you're going to get. All right? We're going to be smaller, leaner, more agile, faster, 
bigger, overseas, whatever it's going to be. That's what your program vision needs to cover. All right. Hopefully that captures it in a nutshell for you. Thank you.